I'm Glenn Gazer. I'm a professor in the School of Nutrition and Health Promotion and director of the Healthy Lifestyles Research Center at Arizona State University. I'm also chair of the Scientific Advisory Board of the Grain Foods Foundation. And I'm here to talk about gluten-free dieting. More specifically, is going gluten-free really sound dietary advice for the general population? Gluten-free dieting has gained considerable popularity in recent years. Amazon.com lists more than 5,000 entries for gluten-free books. A Google search for gluten-free diet produced nearly 4 million results. Most consumers who buy gluten-free products say they do so because they think that gluten-free products are healthier. Now, celebrity endorsements have no doubt contributed to the surge in popularity of gluten-free products, especially when it comes to weight loss. But despite all the testimonials and despite the estimated two-plus billion dollar per year market for gluten-free products, there is no scientific evidence to support such health or weight loss claims for the general population. None. In fact, there are data to suggest that gluten itself has health benefits and that eliminating gluten from the diet may not be justified for otherwise healthy individuals. Now I highlight these issues in a peer-reviewed article I wrote for the September 2012 issue of the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Now to be sure, avoiding gluten is essential in certain conditions. There is a spectrum of gluten-related disorders, including celiac disease, gluten sensitivity, and wheat allergy. Lifelong adherence to a strict gluten-free diet remains the gold standard of treatment in celiac disease and gluten sensitivity. And there is evidence that a gluten-free diet may help in other chronic autoimmune disease conditions as well. But all of these conditions combined represent a very, very small percentage of people, only about 1% of the population in the case of celiac disease. For everyone else, there is no evidence-based research to support the merits of a gluten-free diet as a healthier option for the general population. And this is especially true when it comes to weight loss. In studies of uh, patients with celiac disease, for example, overweight and obese men and women frequently gain weight on a gluten-free diet. In one study of 371 adults with celiac disease who followed a gluten-free diet for two years, 82% of initially overweight patients actually gained weight. In another study, among 149 children with celiac disease who followed a gluten-free diet for at least 12 months, the percentage of overweight children nearly doubled. Now, why does this happen? Well, it may be due in part to enhanced absorption of nutrients associated with the healing of the intestinal lining while people follow a gluten-free diet. People also need to realize that gluten-free does not mean low-calorie. Many gluten-free baked goods, for example, are high in fat and total calories. It is also important to acknowledge that wheat has many positive health benefits. Wheat is the most widely consumed grain in the United States and contributes approximately 75% of all non-digestible carbohydrates in the North American diet. These non-digestible carbohydrates in wheat, commonly known as fiber, have been associated with improved blood lipid profiles, such as reduced fasting triglycerides, decreased blood sugar and insulin responses after meals, improved immune status and vitamin and mineral absorption, and a healthier body weight. By removing wheat, which is the major source of non-digestible carbohydrates in our diets, strict adherence to a gluten-free diet could have adverse consequences. For example, Recent evidence suggests that a gluten-free diet may lead to reductions in beneficial gut bacteria. The reason is that non-digestible carbohydrates in wheat, such as oligofructose and inulin, have prebiotic actions in the gut and thereby, thereby contribute to a healthy gastrointestinal system. In a recent study, 10 healthy subjects followed a gluten-free diet for one month by replacing all foods containing gluten with equivalent products certified as gluten-free the gluten-free diet significantly reduced a number of beneficial gut bacteria in these otherwise healthy individuals. By contrast, another study showed that after three weeks of following a diet that was supplemented with 48 grams per day of 100% whole grain wheat breakfast cereal, 
the numbers of healthy gut bacteria significantly increased. Now one of the mechanisms by which whole grain foods confer health benefits is thought to be through their beneficial effect on gut bacteria. These findings may help explain the well-established relationship between whole grain food intake and the reduced risk of cardiovascular diseases. In addition to the benefits of these non-digestible carbohydrates in wheat, gluten itself, which is the main protein in wheat, may have important health effects. For example, in two studies of men and women at risk for heart disease, participants increased their consumption of gluten by 60 to 78 grams per day for up to four weeks. This was achieved by having them eat bread with extra high amounts of gluten. In both studies, blood triglycerides were reduced by 13 to 19 percent, and in one of the studies, the concentration of oxidized low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, was reduced by 10 percent. LDL is commonly referred to as bad cholesterol. Oxidized LDL is even a more dangerous form of LDL and is a very sensitive marker for vascular disease. And as I mentioned, this dangerous form of LDL was reduced on the gluten-rich diet. Gluten may also help lower blood pressure and boost your immune system. For example, one of gluten's constituent proteins, gliadin, has been reported to have properties similar to ACE inhibitors, a common class of blood pressure lowering medications. Another study showed that just one week of consuming a gluten supplement was enough to boost immune function by up to 57%. So, while gluten-free diets are clearly indicated for patients with celiac disease or for persons with gluten sensitivity and some chronic autoimmune diseases, the benefits of gluten-free eating for the general population remain to be established. And despite the num numerous health claims and exploding popularity of gluten-free products, there are no published data to support weight loss claims for a gluten-free diet. Whole grain wheat products have many documented health benefits, and whole grain intake is consistently linked with better weight control. Because wheat is the most widely consumed grain in America, going gluten-free for purposes of weight loss may not be such a good idea.